Hey Aries, it's your girl Tara Card Bay. I am here to do your November reading. We're going to use the Oracle of the Radiant Sun to look at your overall energy and then we'll go into tarot to look at who's coming towards you, what they want, and the outcome. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember a like helps with the overall vibe. I hope you all are doing well and let me jump in for Aries overall energy. What we got? relentless so that's correct that's very much you and this is actually your card so this is mercury in aries and this is the first house which is a part of your personality this is on point so that's definitely a good energy to be in unstoppable um something that a feeling of doing what you have to do no matter how you feel um a feeling of I'm getting taking your healing into your own hands. Uh, as you see, uh, we have the caduceus there. Um, yeah, taking your healing into your own hands, being relentless about the path that you are walking on, being relentless about your journey overall. What else we got? So we have the moon in Aquarius, and this is 11th house for independence as a part of your overall energy. Yeah, I feel like those things go well together. Um, I am getting some balancing out of emotions as well. Also, I'm getting energy of um, an increased amount of self-esteem, like the way that you see yourself, you're seeing yourself a bit bigger or you're kind of seeing yourself as the star player or you're being reminded that you are the star player in your life um, and then the 11th house is about friends and community so i get strongly that you want people who reflect that that same vibe that same energy the same image that is what you're looking for and even though it says independence i do feel that you're looking for your soul tribe or people that resonate with your higher self or people who want to get to a higher level all right, what else we got for overall energy? Oh, here we go. Virgos. Virgo energy in the house. This is Venus in Virgo, sixth house for discrimination. Yes, now Virgos are meant to be one of the most discerning signs. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Sometimes I could be more discerning, that's for sure. Um, but as far as discrimination goes, I just think this is how you are looking at your life. You're being discriminatory. You're deciding who can come in, who can go. You're deciding where you want to develop, um, what you want to change into, like the person, the type of person you want to be. All right, Aries. I think like, wasn't the last reading kind of deep for y'all? Like, I kind of like that. I don't think that people think about fire signs and think that they are like super deep or, you know, they think about the passion more than anything. But I know some female Aries specifically that are really dope people, very sweet. I know some male Aries who are charming, good conversationalists. So the depth is definitely there. All right. So what's going on? What's going on with Aries in November? What is going on with Aries in November? We got the Two of Swords for the Tarot. And this is uh, Santa Morte Tarot. Book of the Dead by Santa Morte. All right. So there's a decision that needs to be made here. Hmm. Of course, I'm getting this decision that is about stability and emotion. Hmm. Aries, you might feel like you're at a good place financially and you may not focus on the emotional side of your life so much. I'm saying that because how I'm getting the uh, blue flowers that represent the emotion that kind of fall through. The wood represents the foundation, something something stable in the material world. Um, also, I see a lack of passion also. You might feel like you're also um, overwhelmed by emotions right now. What is this choice for Aries? What is Aries choosing from? Let's see. Hangman, making a choice, <laughs> being stuck about a choice. Okay, come on, more about the choice now. Page of Cups, had to be about emotions. 
All right, what are these emotions here? Five of swords here. Okay, queen of pentacles. King of swords. So it appears to be some energy here. Now this choice. <clears throat> I kind of get the energy of cutting someone out. I also get an energy of a lot of verbal conflict, specifically recently. Um, and you wanting to grow, you wanting to come up from that, specifically with that queen of pentacles. It's almost like moving up away from low vibrations. I don't know why this king of swords is here. Why is the king of swords here? Yeah, cutting something out, five of pentacles. What are you cutting out? Got the moon here. Hmm. Eight of swords. Ten of cups here. And the nine of pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> so as far as what you're cutting out, I just I get lack mentality. I kind of get that this is more about you. Now, something in your love dynamic could have triggered you to feel like you just are reevaluating your life. You don't want anything in your life that's not making you happy. Um, Believe it or not, not everyone has that evaluation. You would think that that's a very simple com, um, a simple conversation that a person has or concept. Uh, but a lot of people do not sit back and be like, okay, I'm unhappy and I want to make changes. A lot of people identify that they're unhappy um, and they sit in it. So I do see that you're in this place of in the past and at the very least you felt defeated. You could feel like that in the current energy. You are ready to rise above that. You understand that that vibration is actually blocking things from you. Could even be blocking your finances with that energy. Um, now, if we're talking about actual people, you look like you blocked the person. That's for sure. Um, if we're looking at you like you're the queen of pentacles and somebody else is this king of swords energy, you have blocked this person. You have left this person out in the cold. There were secrets here as far as why this block happened. Um, stuff that was keeping you stuck in your head and away from your happiness and your abundance. I'm getting strongly that something's blocking you. Somebody or a mindset is blocking your abundance and Whatever that is, you're cutting that out. Okay. Let's see more about the defeat. Why is the feeling of being defeated here for Aries? I feel like I'm going to go deep. I'm going deeper than general. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Why is the feeling of defeat here? Three of swords. So over the five of swords, we got the three of swords for why that's here. Why do you feel defeated? Aries three of wands mm -hmm. <laughs> two of cups eight of pinnacles and the magician um you thought you were gonna work on something that involves love um i don't think that happened let's see Strength, yeah, nine of swords. Strength card and the nine of swords. So yeah, if this is a love situation, which it appears to be, seems like there's some heartbreak here. You were waiting for something to come in. You were waiting for something to progress. You were waiting for some type of future. Um, there is love in this situation, whoever this is with, with the two of cups, because that's mutual. If it was the ace of cups, that would be one person's love or overall, overall one cup. This is two people's cups. <laughs> two people had mutual love here. Um, why is this eight of pentacles here? Nine of wands. Oh. Oh, this is the same shit in the hermit. So instead of someone putting in work with the eight of pentacles, someone was the knight of wands. Um, and this is known to you. This is something that is known. This is something you could have discovered with the hermit energy that instead of a person working on something with you, this love that both people have, that someone would have preferred to be in and out. Um, and that's something that that's something you're aware of. 
and we have the strength and again the nine of swords so currently you're having to be strong this this situation either in the past or currently really got you in your head i get depression not being able to sleep being sad sad as fuck almost get tears on the comforter or the the duvet however you relate the blanket <laughs> however you relate tears memories of intimacy also dang like not being able to get something or someone out of your head like being haunted by thoughts of this person all right who is this motherfucker no. <laughs> who is this who is this person who is this person eight of cups somebody who's also sad as hell look at that somebody who's also sad this eight of cups is a bit different this eight of cups of course um in rider weight is the walking away card i feel like this is a person who i get the energy of a person who walked away with all of these cups and is still not satisfied like the way that this cup this person has uh the, the cups on the crown it's like this is what you had you use these cups as trophies as things to make you feel better as notches on the belt but you're still not happy you still don't feel fulfilled you still don't feel like either these are enough cups or you had the cup that you want you wanted yeah you have all of these cups but you're not happy so either that's you or the other person i get that energy is the other person okay <clears throat> oh, what does this person think about aries this okay five of cups that you're sad as well you're in regret they think you're they know that there are some mental issues here or like you're having a hard time mentally um overwhelmed with emotion half of this skeleton's body is covered in water <clears throat> just in the middle of emotion this is also scorpio energy so if that relates to you um however something i've never seen about this card is how it looks like there's like dawn breaking in the back and that's also something you can't see. So in the original Rider Waite, you have the Five of Cups and the person's looking at the cups and there's two cups behind them that they're not seeing. They're so depressed about the cups that have spilled. So in this is like, okay, you're in the middle of the emotion, but you don't see that there is going to be a breakthrough. The sun is going to shine. So this is how that person sees you. What is this? They see you as being sad and not looking towards the positive looking towards the negative which if this person broke your heart that's accurate that's that's you know that makes sense all right what is in this person's heart when it comes to aries what's in this person's heart when it comes to aries does this person have a heart maybe i should have started there what's in this person's heart when it comes to aries temperance hmm Eight of Swords, Judgment, and the Emperor. This this person's heart is interessante. <laughs> so um, now in the heart there is love there because we have um, the Angel angel of death but still the angel trying to balance out the emotion so this person is trying to control their emotions or how they feel about you right now um they also feel that maybe they both of you all need some type of healing because there are two cups that are need that are out of balance um as far as also what's in their heart with the eight of swords like They're fearing something. What are they fearing in their heart? Who have fear in their heart? Remember, <laughs> you don't put no fear in my heart. Clearly, this person has fear in their heart. Fear is in their heart. What is this Eight of Swords? The lovers. <sighs> this is what they fear. Why do they fear the lovers? 
which is also a choice. But why do they fear this connection in which they need to make a choice about? Why do they fear this? Ten of wands. Six of cups. <laughs> what? Three of cups. And the world card. I have no clue. I'm not even lying to you. Like, I'm not even going to say that I exactly know what that means. So, um, it's almost this energy of no matter what they do, they can't get over you. Um, something they fear, they fear connection and that's a burden. Emotional connections seem to be a burden this, to this person. Um, however, the, with this six of cups, there's emotion here. There's nostalgia here. There's sweetness here. Somebody who wants to give that. Somebody who actually wants to bring joy and close out a cycle. Well, why aren't they bringing joy? Like how, why, why? <laughs> like you want to bring joy, but why aren't you? Cause this don't seem joyful, you know, like what the tower. <laughs> what? <laughs> and the will of fortune and the five of cups. I, I don't even know if I'm posting this. Let me, let me get through this. Um, They're not, there needs to be a change in the foundation of whoever this person is, like a fundamental change, a big shake up for change to occur, um, change in that lack mentality, looking at your life more abundantly. Uh, yeah, change needs to occur in the devil. Change needs to occur here. Yeah. Somebody has to choose to transform. This person has to choose to transform. That's the fear that's in their heart. The choice to transform. All right. We got the judgment here. And I believe I've seen that already in, in the uh, emperor. However, this person keeps trying to control something that is, is not in their control. Sun card. King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. This is the, this is wild. Yeah, this this person is trying to control their emotions. They think money's gonna make them happy. They may, you know, but it's fear. It's really fear. Like this connection they have with finances is a fear. Fearing that they put energy into something and it doesn't develop. Okay. <laughs> This has taken far too long. I don't, how do you feel about this person? Did I ask that? No. <laughs> how do you feel about this person, Aries? I kind of like that I'm just making this as long as I want. So maybe I'll cut it if, if I need to. How do you feel about this person? Five of Wands. Conflict in game playing. Competition. Knight of Swords. Six of Swords. Let me do that again because that didn't feel right. No, well, Page of Wands came out twice. Knight of Pentacles. Conflict. Something that you need to move away from swiftly to gain peace, to gain balance. Um, you still... Desire a new start. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. Uh, you want a choice to be made. You feel like this person is just moving slow. The devil on your side too. The world and the devil. This gives me like an energy of like good versus evil. Or like have, trying to get somebody to come to the light side from the dark side or something. This is this connection is divine and communication will come like communication will come like what what's in your heart in regards to this person three of 
Ace of Wands. The full card. A lot of passion. So much that you would... Okay. And the Justice card. So, yeah. A lot of passion. So much that a part of you would try again. But I think you know that this is not benefiting you. This is not for your greater good. That's the energy that I'm getting. High Priestess. And your intuition could have told you that. What's blocking this connection? Even though we got two devils? Let's ask. What is... Blocking this connection. Truth. All right. I'm going I'm to I'm look at the new person. We're going to leave that alone for now. <laughs> We're going to leave that alone. The energy of the new person. So Aries, if you did not resonate with that, you thought that was too conv convoluted, I, I, I agree. Because I don't know what I even just said. Anyway. Um, if you did not resonate or if you did and you're interested in new love, if you're single and you're interested in new love, we got the Knight of Cups. So this is your new love coming towards you. Get in, I got in three months, the Hermit. This person could be a water sign. This person could be a Virgo. Right now this person is chilling. You know, this person will bring in emotion, but they are doing some inner healing, as should you, it feels, as should I, you know, like, as should we all. This person doing some inner healing right now. What else? What else? Ten of Swords, they've had an ending on their side. All right, Two of Cups here. Why is the Two of Cups here? Ooh, yikes. Okay. King of Swords. Yeah. Ending. Ace of Pentacles. Something went left. The Hierophant. This person was connected. Um, could have wanted to marry somebody. Could have been married to somebody. Whatever. Um, in that case, this person is healing from that connection. Uh, this is a person who will be able to communicate their emotions and bring that in. Right now, they are healing. And working on their money with the King of Pentacles. Or they could be a uh, earth sign for the new love. All right. Something to identify the new love when they come through. Ace of Wands. <laughs> this person will be very passionate. You will have a very strong sexual attraction to each other judgment here this could be somebody you already know i'm sorry I'm sorry the new love could be the old love as always so yeah this could be someone that you know from the past someone that has came back i'm getting possible pisces energy um yep yeah, look at this page of cups yeah yeah and temperance a person who probably did not communicate look at this six of pentacles equal give and take this person didn't communicate their emotions before this person did not give you an equal give and take before um this person appears to be coming back so all right has this person changed if this person is returning has this person changed has this person changed I got six of swords. Five of swords, queen of wands. I see a lot of people. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. So this could have been a situation where there, there were people involved, multiple people. I'm getting like at least three other women here. I got a queen of cups, queen of pentacles, queen of wands. That's three people, not three women, but three people. Um, okay, let's clarify. The seven of swords came out also. Queen of swords, ace of cups, ten of swords. I can't tell you what to do. Um, I don't, my, my concern is you'll never be able to trust this person. Um, it's not my concern that they, there hasn't been a change. I do see change, 
but I'm not sure if it's enough change to gain your trust. And I think maybe too much damage was done. But this person will attempt to come back for sure. Could be Aquarius. They're going to want to build a family. This person could propose randomly. That's what I'm getting. Or at least tell you that they want to marry you or some, some shit. That's what I'm getting for the new love. Um, okay, what about the outcome for Aries in the new love? <clears throat> what would the outcome be for Aries in the new love? <clears throat> the sun happiness and I get no matter if it's this new love or just a new love in general but we did ask for this specific situation got four of swords too seven of cups and strength yeah <clears throat> I wouldn't I wouldn't reach out to anyone in your past um, anyone needs to come to you I do see in this new love situation or new love in general there will be happiness so Aries, this is your reading. <clears throat> this was deep. Um, yeah, I know this season is rough for a lot of people. It's been rough for me personally, professionally, a lot going on. So um, <clears throat> I feel that this has been difficult for you both or whoever is involved. Um, yeah, this is life. I feel like my, my readings this month are real. Some real life shit for sure. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, please like, please comment. If you resonated and you want to share information, comment. If you want to just share with me an email, because now I'm curious. I want to know I'm nosy. And also I'm your friend. I'm Tarot Carbe, your friend in Tarot. So talk to me, tarotcarbe at gmail.com. Um, yes, like this, comment, share it if you'd like. Subscribe if you haven't. I love y'all. Have an amazing Thanksgiving.